Hello, this is Kenny Moore of tagtpdf.com, continuing a series of short tutorials intended to help optimize PDF documents for assistive technology and mobile devices by meeting the new PDF accessibility requirements of the 508 refresh. In this video, I'd like to talk about another error that requires knowledgeable human inspection, and the error is this one. Insufficient contrast for text. This error is not included in the Matterhorn protocol, which does not address the visual representation of the document. But it is covered by the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines, WCAG uh, 2.0, uh, Guideline 1.4.3, which at the AA level requires text to have a contrast ratio of at least 4.5 to 1. Uh, an exception is large text. Uh, large scale text must have a contrast ratio of at least 3 to 1. Uh, and also text that does not convey information has no minimum contrast requirements. The video will present this suggestion for resolving this error using Adobe Acrobat Pro and using the handy free color contrast analyzer. The video will use this example PDF, which if you'd like, you're welcome to download and use to practice with. In pack two, I have the example PDF loaded. So I can click start and we get our good friend, the happy green check mark. This PDF is technically accessible. So pack two doesn't check for uh, color contrast. I happen to know that this document does have an issue with the uh, color contrast of, of uh, certain text. Pack 1.3, the predecessor of Pack 2, uh, does check for sufficient contrast for text, but it doesn't always do it perfectly. If we uh, check the example document, we can see that Pack 1.3 also passes this document. And next I'll run the Adobe Acrobat Pro Accessibility Checker And that gives me a handy uh, reminder that color contrast needs to be checked manually. So color contrast needs to be checked by a human. And we can see in this document, I have some gray text on a white background. And I also have some light blue text on a gray background. And both of these to me look a little bit iffy from a color contrast uh, standpoint. One way to check the color contrast is using this handy free color contrast analyzer from the uh, Pachilla group. And I'm not at all sure I'm pronouncing that right. It is spelled P-A-C-I-E-L-L-O. And I think it's Pachilla or something, uh, something close to that. And you can see they use the, uh, not the American, but the metric spelling of the word color and uh, the word analyzer. In the tool, you can see the RGB, the red, green, blue component numbers for the foreground color and the background color. Uh, the numbers range from 000, which is black, to 255, 255, 255, which is white. So a black text on white background, or vice versa, uh, would give us a contrast ratio of 21 to 1, which is as, uh, as good as we can get. To check the actual foreground and background colors, I can use these little dropper tools to select the foreground and background color. And I'm going to zoom in a bit to make that a little bit easier. And I'll check the, uh, the gray text uh, first. It uh, has a white background, so background color is already correct. I'll select the little dropper for the foreground. Carefully position it over the gray A. And you can see we get a contrast ratio of 3.15 to 1. Now this is large text. It's actually 18 points. So large is anything uh, 18 points or above or 14 bold or above. So at the AA level, which is usually what we want to shoot for, uh, this does pass. Uh, you can see that if the text were smaller or if I were shooting for the AAA level, uh, then it would fail. 
And next I'll check the light blue text. And again, carefully position the uh, dropper tool and the background dropper tool. And you can see this time we get a contrast ratio of uh, 4 to 1, which fails the WCAG AA criterion of 4.5 to 1 for text that is less than 18 point or 14 point bold. Uh, now I can use the color contrast analyzer to do a little bit of what if analysis. Uh, so what if I change the green component of this color from 110 to 100? Okay, well that gives me a color contrast ratio of 4.4 to 1, which is still less than 4.5, so that still fails. So let me try lowering it from 100 to 95. Okay, now we get a contrast ratio of 4.6, uh, which is above 4.5, so this, this is a pass for the WCAG AA criterion. Uh, the color 095255 gives us a pass. Now ideally the place for me to both check and fix the color contrast would be in the source document. Uh, PDF is not really intended to be edited and any sort of text edit, even just changing the color, uh, might mess up the placement of the text and also might uh, mess up the tags. So it's sort of a last resort, but if I don't have access to the source file, and a lot of times I don't, uh, I can fix the color contrast using Acrobat Pro, but uh, that usually leaves me with some cleanup work to do. So I'll close down the color contrast analyzer. I'm going to zoom back out a little bit. And on the Tools menu, I'll select Edit PDF. And I'll select all of that text that uh, I need to change the color of. Now, there's my font color. If I mouse over that, I can see that it says Font Color. I'll click that. Now, I don't want any of these standard uh, colors. I want, a, I want a custom color. So I'll click Other Color. And I want Red Zero. Green 95, and blue 255. Now, if you watch carefully when I click OK, you might see that some of this text actually does get uh, displaced. And I, I get this little uh, cautionary explanation point that tells me uh, the text has moved a little bit, and some of the uh, link boxes, the link annotations, may no longer match up with the associated text. And if I check the tags for this paragraph, uh, I can see that the tags got messed up too. Uh, all of the text that used to be inside the link tags uh, is now outside the link tags. And the same with this reference tag here. So as expected, uh, I have some cleanup work to do. And for that, I'm going to pause the video. So back in pack two, the uh, original document passed, but I did have to do some cleanup work. I want to check and see if I didn't mess that up. So I will test the remediated PDF. And good, we still get our good friend, the happy green check mark. This PDF remains technically accessible. This is Kenny Moore of taggedpdf.com. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. Hope you found it helpful. Uh, please feel free to contact me using the Contact Kenny page at tactpdf.com. Accessibility is the right thing to do.